Lytotes. Although Lytotes is an independent figures of speech, it shares some similarities with irony. The difference is that in Lytotes, when you say someone isn't something, you mean that he is the opposite. Examples of Lytotes. 1. The country's economy isn't bad, that means the country's economy is well established. 2. I don't hate Africans, that means I like Africans. 3. He wasn't unfamiliar with the country's lifestyle, that means he was well acquainted with the country's lifestyle. 4. Coronavirus isn't endemic in Africa, that means few people infected or die from coronavirus in Africa. 5. Mathematics isn't complex, that means mathematics is easy. Merism. Merism is a variant of synecdoche whereby parts of something is used to describe the whole. Examples of merism. 1. Look up and down, that means look everywhere. 2. Earth and heaven, that means everything that exists. 3. Flesh and bone, that means whole body. Metaphor. Metaphor is like simile, the difference is direct comparison. Simile uses the words, like, or, as, to show comparison but metaphor only states the comparison without using, like, or, as. Examples of metaphor. 1. I'm drowning in a sea of grief. That means my grief turned to depression gradually. 2. Fatima broke my heart. That means Fatima make me sad. 3. Time is a thief. That means we aren't aware that we're wasting time. 4. His words cut deeper than a knife. That means what he says is worse than hitting someone. Metonymy. Metonymy is a figure of speech that replaces the name of a thing with the name of something else which is closely associated. Examples of metonymy. 1. After the protests. Maybe Washington will change its decision. Washington, here means, USA, because that is the capital of USA. 2. The terrorist was just released from the big house. Big house, here means prison because terrorists are usually detained in prisons. 3. The pen is mightier than the sword. Pen, here means, dialogue, and, sword, means, war. 4. Can you give me a hand carrying this book? That means can you help me carry this book? Paradox. Paradox is a statement that looks absurd and contradictory on the surface, but yet can be true and make sense. Paradoxes are often contrary to what is commonly believed. Examples of paradox. 1. The more you see, the less you understand. That means you can't focus and understand everything if you keep seeing many things, so the more you see, the more your understanding diminish. 2. Less is more. That means more people are likely to adopt something if it has less obstacles and challenges. 3. You can save money by spending it. That means you can save money by buying shares or something valuable. 4. This is the beginning of the end. That means this is the initial stage of the final attempt. Parallelism. Parallelism is the repetition of phrases with similar grammatical structure in sentence. Examples of parallelism. 1. The game is more entertaining than music, more downloaded than Facebook app, more addicted than internet. 2. The book is rich in vocabulary, rich in jokes to entertain people. 3. Anybody who escaped from police custody can escape from vigilance custody. Personification. Personification occurs when writer attribute human characteristics to something that isn't human. Examples of personification. 1. When police killed unarmed protesters in the country, the earth has been crying for vengeance. 
That means people all over the world call for taking actions against police brutality. 2. The tree wet after rain danced on it. That means the tree wet after rain fall. 3. My computer betray me. That means my computer failed to do what I want. 4. If the car cooperate, we will reach the destination within one hour. That means if there is no any fault in the car, we will reach the destination within one hour. Sarcasm. This is the use of irony to mock, convey contempt or for humorous purposes. It mostly used to express opposite of what is true. Examples of sarcasm. 1. When someone doesn't clean or wash his cloth and you say to him, very nice cloth, can you borrow me this cloth? 2. When your child break your computer and you said, very good. 3. If people disturb you with noise and you ask them to speak louder. Simile. Simile is a figure of speech involving the comparison of one thing with another thing of a different kind indirectly using, as, or, like. Examples of simile. 1. Kennedy is brave as a lion. In this example, although Kennedy compared as a lion, the reader understood that Kennedy is not a lion in literal sense. Instead, this comparison tell him that Kennedy is strong and dominant among people the way lion is strong and dominant among wild animals. 2. Police and druggists fought like cats and rats. That means druggists run away whenever they come encounter with police. 3. He sleeps like a dog. That means he sleeps in the day instead of night. 4. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. That means I love you so much. 5. The light produces by wielding machine is as bright as the sun. That means you can't look the light without dark eye glass. Synecdoche. In this figure of speech a part or something is taken to represent the whole of it. This is like metonymy only that here the part that is meant to represent the whole is an inseparable aspect of it. Whereas in metonymy, the part representing the whole can be separated from it. Actually, some synecdoche are form of metonymy. For example, wheels, can means, vehicle, boots, can means, soldiers, and, glasses, can means, eyeglasses.